Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Here you can see with me 2010 Toyota Prius. This one has 223,000 miles and I'm in process of performing head gasket job. There was some misfires in 1 and 2 and coolant leaks in 1 and 2. So this is where I am so far I'm taking it slowly and easy I don't want to make any mistakes or damage anything you can see all my stuff and I came to the point that I want to set the top dead center on the number one cylinder what is number one cylinder it's the closest one to the main crank pulley which you can see down there right that's a dead pulley and basically right one two three four and if we performing the job we need to set the cams the whole engine to the top that center or TDC on the number one now this screwdriver is here for this video for visual in the case you don't trust yourself if you do it on any different car and you don't know where the TDC is, this will show you that the screwdriver will be coming up. When you reach TDC it stops and then it will go down, right? And that's too far. So I will be manually turning the harmonic balancer. You need the socket 19 millimeter, And you always turn this engine this way. Right, so it's a clockwise. This is a 2Z RFXE engine on 2010 Prius. You can see it right there. So I will show you. I will put this camcorder on the tripod. I will show you with that visual confirmation with that screwdriver. You will see basically how it's done. So let's go and start it. It's always that unfortunate fight we have together with each other you want to see and I need a space to film so hopefully my head is not in your way and look slowly I'm turning the engine and now you see the screwdriver is going down so none of these marks right now matters to me because I want to have that screwdriver in the top and the way this engine is set up these two, the number one and four, are in the same position and the two and three are in the same position. So if this one, the number one is going down, I know these two are coming up and also the real one is coming down. So, sorry, uh, this is flex ratchet and uh, it, it just it, it keeps falling off of the main bolt, but I will observe You observe the screwdriver and scream stop when you will see that it Reached the top it stop and it will start going down We can always turn it backwards tiny bit, but not the full rotations So keep watching I'm watching my marks here and you watch the screwdriver, please yell at me when it will be all the way up and we will compare our results and we will either agree or disagree yeah sorry for that I will have to have a straight ratchet but it's fine everything's fine and I will say looking on my mark which I will show you soon I will say I'm there. Right there. And I looked at you. Also, we have a mark down here, which I will also show you. So, we should be under TDC number one. Oh. Let me show you all the marks. Now, I can show you that if this screwdriver is in very top. Uh, the other ones will be in the bottom, so the screwdriver will go in way deeper. See that? 
it's way lower this one will be the same right same position and watch the last one will be up uh, yeah that's already actually hitting the piston so we have one and four up and these are down this is my wife calling I better pick it up so these were the screwdriver positions now let's look on our timing marks so you will see on that main crank pulley you see that white spot right and down there it's unfortunately wrapped in the oil I will try to zoom on it right across the timing should be zero I hope you see it it's at the end of that plastic across the pulley right I'm trying you see not everything is filmable so there is a zero so now we are at zero which means uh, TDC top that center now there will be two cams here do you see that line right here it's approximately if you look on that engine if you really tilt it yourself this way right so it's approximately at 2 p.m. if we look on the clock now there are more marks on this cam but observe this mark this mark goes the cut goes all the way to the chain the other mark doesn't so if you had the other mark here you will not have a screwdriver up here in the top position and also you will not have that white mark down there against the zero you will be in different place so this is on this cam now that let's look on the very last cam which actually has perfect marking and that is at the 12 o'clock and I hope you can see it it's next to that green paint on that cam right next to the green cam it's actually protrusion like a low spot in that cam I could put a white paint there or whatever and that is actually at the 12 o'clock position that cam it's also perfectly set it needs to be set that way right when I will be putting it back everything backwards the whole shebang I have to make sure that this will be all matching these cams could move everything has to be in exactly same position so I just wanted to use the opportunity to show you how to do this on 2ZR FXE to have another video in our Toyota library uh, where you hopefully always can find answers to your Toyota maintenance and repair I hope you found this video helpful and please Stay tuned, be subscribed, have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.